Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to 2P Press Start. I'm Giant Killer, and today we're back with episode 16 of our top 5 Hearthstone plays of the week. Now let's get right into the action with number 5. Our number 5 play this week was submitted by Anna B, and it features Tiki on Warlock up against Navik on Mage and some Hearthstone Beta ranked action. And Tiki's found himself in a tight spot here, just one Fire Blast away from death. He doesn't have the mana he needs to cast both defenders, so his giants will only be able to deal 18 of the 19 damage he needs to win. And Mortal Coil, unfortunately, can't target players. But with a clever use of resources, Tiki gives himself a shot at top decking an answer. After buffing and attacking with his giants, he plays an Iron Beak Owl and Mortal Coils his own Owl to trigger the card draw. This allows him to top deck precisely the Soul Fire he needed to finish off Navik and win the game. This week's number four play was a submission from Dino R, and it features Ponky on Warlock up against Elvis Elric on Rogue. And Ponky's playing on a wing and a prayer, behind on life, and facing potential lethal next turn. But Ponky's out to show Elvis Elric that just like the real Elvis, he's about to be killed by fried chicken. On his turn, Ponky implements his original recipe for destruction, starting out by buffing up the chicken with a power overwhelming, then triggering its enrage effect with a dread infernal, frying this angry bird up to an extra tasty crispy 10-4. After swinging in with the dragon and the chicken, Ponky finishes off this foul play with a soul fire. Our number three clip this week features Swift Lame running Miracle Rogue up against Noxious in some ranked action, and it's shot from Noxious' point of view. Last turn, Swift Flame set the stage for his miracle in progress by concealing a Gadget Sand Auctioneer, which lets him draw a card whenever he plays a spell, along with a Mana Addict, which gains plus two attack power for every spell played. On his turn seven, Swift Flame starts by backstabbing Ragnaros, then casts Preparation for a free Sap, bouncing Noxious' Sunwalker. And drawing cards and buffing his Mana Addict all the while, he follows that up with a Sinister Strike, a comboed Cold Blood on the Mana Addict, a backstab on the Blood Hoof, a comboed Eviscerate to the face, a shiv to the face, another comboed cold blood, and finally, Swift Flame puts the Hallelujah on the Miracle by swinging in for 27 damage coup de grace. You know, grace, because it's a Miracle Rogue. You see, it's funny, because that's how it's spelled, but not how it's pronounced. Eh, whatever. At least Noxious seems entertained. Our number two clip this week was a submission from Star Zero, and it features Star Zero on Paladin up against Dizzy on Warrior. And Star Zero's running a Holy Wrath and Giants deck, hoping for the dream of landing a Holy Wrath into a Molten Giant for a big 20-point finisher. And it just so happens that he's living out that dream on his turn 5, as his Holy Wrath smacks his opponent right in the face for 20 points of damage. But what do you do when the dream falls short and your 20-point Wrath doesn't finish the job? Well, you dream bigger, goddammit, you do the exact same thing next turn. Star Zero follows up his first 20-point Wrath on turn 5 with another 20-point Wrath on turn 6, drawing his second Molten Giant. Somebody get this guy a lottery ticket. This week's number one clip features Hysteria on Warlock up against Jesse J on Mage. And Hysteria's getting dangerously close to Pyroblast range here, but by now Hysteria's drawn through his entire deck, and he's gonna make sure his opponent doesn't get another turn. With two summoning portals in play, Hysteria drops a discounted Ancient Mage between them, giving each portal plus one spell power. He then proceeds to bounce and replay the Ancient Mage four times, thanks to his Brewer Shop Quartet of Youthful Brewmasters and Ancient Brewmasters, stacking up another spell power on each portal every time he recasts the Mage. And after a quick prayer to the heart of the cards, Hysteria proceeds to cast back-to-back -back 14 damage Soul Fires for 28 damage and a very creative win. And for our bonus clip this week, we bring you Yoink. In this clip, Amaz, he told me last week that it's, it's a Maz, not a Maze, is low on life and facing down a control warrior. But on his turn, Amaz decides to call his shot, announcing that it's no problem, he's simply going to steal a Gorhal with his Thought Steal and end the game this turn. And in a play that makes him a serious contender for Noxious's King of the RNG spot, he does exactly that. And while this clip and the credits are rolling, it's time once again to talk about the series. First of all, thanks to everyone who sent such supportive PMs, emails, and comments, wishing me luck on my wedding, honeymoon, and married life in general. Thanks very much for all the kind words and all the well wishes. I'd also like to extend a great big 2P press start welcome to everyone who's joined the channel over the past weeks, and a big thank you to everyone who submitted such great plays for this week's show. If you're interested in submitting a play, stop by 2ppressstart.com and hit the Submit a Play link for instructions on how to submit a play into the running for next week's episode. If you enjoy our shows and want to help our channel grow, please click on that like button, subscribe to our channel, share the video with anyone you think might like it, or just watch more of our videos. Every bit of help is greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for all of your support, and please keep the feedback, requests, and submissions coming. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.